Hi there, Wargamers. It's uh, Deathbringer from 11th Legion here. Uh, we're bringing you a quick update on the uh, progress of things. It's uh, just getting the uh, talk through how things are going. Right? So, uh, uh, the progress on the, the main ruin, I've, um, uh, I'll show you around. Get, get my ugly mug off the shot and uh, get you guys looking at the actual uh, picture. I've, I've finally got the uh, the texture seal, if you can actually see that, guys. Um, Get that show that in there. The textures, hopefully, it won't come off with a brush uh, with a paint and the thing. So, uh, got the uh, the tiles done the from one floor out of a well out of card from a from a from a, from a box set. Uh, Kate, you know that like some wooden stri strips across uh, for where uh, someone's obviously utilising the room building. I might, I might add some uh, some ladders for how they might have actually getting up. I've got the uh, the meshing on top here. Uh, and obviously uh, there was two strips here, but one, one's actually broken off. And then there's the actual uh, down here. We've got the the wooden floor from lollipops, and this absolutely took lemon ages to do. Sawing up lollipop sticks is it was a, it was an endurance thing. Right, we'll go around go around the front. That's hopefully it's not going to make uh, too much mess. Then uh, around the lamp. So out the front is on this base. It's been raised up on a bit of foam. Not entirely sure what I'm doing with this just yet, but uh, all I've got is a, a, a step up to where the door should be. I'm probably going to damage that in some way. So, project number two, uh, currently on the on the go, is a little test piece for uh, doing the river. So I've got over here. I've got a wood filler over a bit of foam board on a piece of a piece of MDF, and on this side we've got some. I've got wood filler mixed with uh, sat with sand. I'm going to see how that goes. I'm going to use some uh, clear plastic, clear resin to uh, for water. Hopefully, it uh, will uh, work quite well, and it will have a a tutorial if it's out of this if this works quite well. But the uh, the jewel of the of the of the uh, of the little show this little showcase or update video is uh, my X-wing board. Now um, I'm really impressed with this and. Um, Oh yeah, that's great. It's not you can't even see it on the video. Fantastic. Maybe it's the light. There we go. There we go. A bit of light on the subject. Uh, we got a show with actual board. So this is my fold out three by three uh, X wing board. Uh, it's good enough for, for using now, but I, I may add uh, some nebulas or something like that at some point, and possibly do some uh, some asteroids for it because. Uh, Asteroids made the uh, the game a lot more 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 intense actually. Uh, increased increased a bit the the action. It made uh, instead of it, once you pass each of them, instead of everyone going back and forth, you had to uh, really think where you were going. And it, the twelve cost when we the first game, the the two was actually uh, I flew a. On an A wing, my favourite ship, into an asteroid, thinking, "Oh, I'll be all right." He's he's got two hit points left. He can only take one for the damage. I want to do. I roll a critical. I got two hit to, two damage on the card. And blew my A wing up. But later in the game, a tie also went into a an asteroid. But that that's that's an unusual ties are like magnetised to uh, attracted to uh, to asteroids. But anyway, that's a little uh, update. So. Uh, Thanks for watching guys and hopefully you'll see uh, more from me soon and so uh, take care guys, Deathbringer out.